Hello, my name is Jorge Pedret, and this is The Shed Show. I love working with Shed. It started a few years ago when I realized that I, I was sending all my shed down the drain, down the, the water. It was, it, it just clicked in a, in a moment that it did not make any sense for me to to be sending this this thing that comes out of my body into the water well first of all it's like it's clear water it's clean water that i am putting my poop in and it is being sent down the drain so i started in a in a journey of discovery of what what is what is possible other than sending the this shed down the, the down the water and this is where my journey with uh, working with shed started and it, it has been a, a transformative journey of discovering how other people other villages and individuals are doing with their shed and and seeing really the the waste of resource that is currently happening in the way that we are managing uh, as a society uh, our shed. It, it, started, it started for me in a time when I was camping and, uh, and I, I went outside and I, I didn't have a toilet in that moment. I didn't have a toilet so I had to find a place to poop out in out in the woods and this was one of my first time as an adult as a conscious adult connected with nature and with this place that I was like pooping in the space and it was fantastic it, it felt so right and it felt so in alignment with, with my being and with the position that I was seeing and the place where, where I did it that it told me like that this there's gotta be a different way to to do this and from that time on i i started asking bringing it more to as a question of myself like how do you how do you poop like where do you poop and i asked this at different villages i went to a a, a village uh, in in vancouver island called our echo village and in there I learned quite a lot about poop because they have they have these uh, stations and these uh, the deposit stations where you deposit your poop and uh, there is a, a system of people that take care take care of it and also there is information uh, in the in the walls of the bathroom indicating like what is the the purpose of, of this uh, of the, the what is the value of your shed because there is so much value in your shed. And, and in this bathroom, they, they had posters. Uh, like There was this specific poster where it was pointing out the, the brokenness of the system. When you poop into the water, into the toilet, it goes and it breaks the cycle of the, the poop going. Now, from the poop going in the water, now it has to be processed. There has to be a place where, where you find that, that water to go, that it doesn't get drunk in and and it just like creates like more uh, more waste inside of the system and and the other part of the system it was like a complete system where you eat the food the food gets processed it, the poop goes down into the earth and fro from the earth it is uh, it creates the soil that allows for more plants to come for more food to come and for the cycle to to be uh, in a way uh, completed and when the, the poop goes in the water this doesn't happen so I got really excited about this I went to other places a place in Colombia also where I learned from my friend uh, JJ uh, about what to do because we were in the jungle in this middle of the space uh, in the middle of the jungle and I, I asked him like what do we do with our poop here and he said like this is a space of exploration for you to discover that on your own. Like, what do you want to do with your poop? So he created that, that space. 
Uh, and also he gave me some some guidelines of what what he does with his poop and and what I, what I've learned so so far is that that it is your own journey of discovery of seeing the value of your shed and this is amazing because I've gone from a place of thinking that my shed is stinky and unwanted and undesirable to seeing more the, the value of it and and being in the in the pain of how we are treating our, our shed as a, as a society as a, as a collective that it's like the resources are just getting flow down the drain and I think this is a, a key a key factor for the the next steps in what on the current situation that we are in where the soils are getting depleted uh, and and actually like like your shed being a key factor for re, uh, regenerating an area uh, an area where where humans are are growing and there is a very awesome story that I learned in Colombia when I went there a few years ago in the in the jungle of, of Putumayo in the jungle where where they do ayahuasca and uh, and in the Amazon and there is a, a the story of ayahuasca that they told me uh, the college Yahe down there and there is this uh, group of people that started becoming there, there is a story that was told to me about a group of people that started becoming uh, more and more uh, proliferant. They becoming like more uh, abundant. They started like growing more food and they became many. So the, this, this small group of people started becoming more and more and more. And uh, as they started to become more shed, they, uh, something was happening that they started to get sick. The, and they discovered that it was the way they were handling their shed, that they weren't taking care of their shed. They were pooping everywhere, pooping in the water, pooping in near places, and, and the bacteria from the, this shed like was making the people sick. So, the uh, a man came, and I think in the story they say it was a, a blonde man, like a, a, a white person. They he came with the with the with the medicine uh, of the of the bitter root which is the, the yahe and and with that medicine uh, he like he was able uh, he he taught them or they learned together about how to take care of their shed so it's amazing to me that this this medicine it connects the, the people with like how to take care of their shed and through that process they were able to learn together as a as a as a village how to take care of their shed together so the i love working with shed this is a, an introduction video to uh, the shed show where we work with our shed and we put our shed uh, as uh, we use our shed as fertilizer for evolution for growing more food and we start re uh, regaining a new a different value with our own shed so thank you for watching and if you have any questions uh, if you want to participate in this show please give me a message and thank you for watching and until the next time